everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. I haven't made a video in a long time because I've been out of town. Uh, I'm actually still out of town, but uh, uh, on training. But I have this, so I figured I'd show it to you. It's another uh, ultrasonic transducer uh, interface with a PIC project. Uh, on to my left, I've got my cheap little uh, transmitter circuit. And on my right, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I've got my receiver circuit with a PIC on it. So if you look at it, the um, there's two LEDs on it, one in the front, one in the back. One in the front is a, a signal acceptor, meaning uh, it tells you when we get a strong signal from the receiver. And the one in the back is a program LED. So uh, let me just plug them in quickly. So I've got my transmitter in front of me. My receiver is plugged in. Um, <coughs> I gotta aim, aim, I'll aim my uh, transmitter at it. So if you'll notice, I'm getting a strong signal. If I bring my hand back too far, it starts to get it starts to get a little bit fuzzy. I'm not sure if you can see that with the camera, but anyway, I'm going to I'm going to aim it directly at my at my receiver circuit, so I get a strong signal signal. The signal uh, is actually being accepted through programming because I didn't want to attenuate the incoming signal or just put an LED off it. Not that that would happen necessarily anyway, but regardless, uh, I wrote it into the programming. So anyway, uh, it has two modes of program. Uh, two um, modes of programming, program A and program B. <coughs> so once we've got a good signal, say we've got these mounted to a wall, uh, we, we want to put it in program mode, but first we're going to have to Right now it's in scan mode. Is there a signal? Is there a signal over and over looping? So yes, it's got a good signal. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, one, two, three. That's an indication we're in program mode. That was the program LED. So program A, there's program A and program B. The difference between program A and program B is just is this. It's program A, when, uh, when there's been a breach, the uh, alarm goes off five times. goes beep, 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 and then the program resets. Uh, program B, <coughs> is a uh, constant beep, 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 and the only time you can only stop it by doing a manual reset. So it's in scan mode right now. Scanning, we've got a good signal. Let's put it into program mode. One, two, three. Program LED goes off three times. Okay, so let's choose program A. Beep. We're in program A. So I'm going to breach the path of the ultrasonic signal. Three, four, five. Resets. Let's go into program B. So now it goes recess into scan mode. We've got a good signal. Oh, sorry, scan mode. Now we're in program mode. I hold the button, we're in program B. So, scan it. Er, breach it. Now, I in order for the beeping to stop, I have to press stop. I have to press the program button, it resets. Scan mode. So let's see a better view of this. I'm going to set it up for program A. So, it's kind of neat. Um, if you're interested in um, <coughs> more ultrasonic transducers, uh, I've got probably about 10 videos on ultrasonic transducers now on my, uh, uh, my YouTube account. I also sell them at www.electroniclessons.com. And if you buy a set of my ultrasonic transducers, I provide for you a document that I've written up on how to drive and receive ultrasonic signals. Easy to understand document, uh, schematics, and written detail. Um, so, and they're also very well priced. So, www.electroniclessons.com. If you're interested in buying more than just a set of two, yeah, I sell in bulk and you save a lot of money by buying in bulk. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys.